السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا وقائدنا وقرة عيوننا سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا يا أرحم الراحمين Today, inshallah, we will talk about one of the unique pearls in Islam, one of the mothers of the believers, the wives, uh, the, one of the wives of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyida Zainab bint Jahsh radiyallahu anha. A few words, quick words about her, we say. Uh, her story was mentioned in the Quran al -Kareem. and she was one of the most honorable ladies of Quraysh and she was known for her charities. She used to work by her hand and to uh, donate the money that she would get out of her work. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given her a special uh, merit that he married her to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from over, from above the seven heavens. And we will talk about that. She was pious, a worshiper, she was always uh, returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with prayers. She was uh, fasting uh, most of the time. And she was one of those who excelled in uh, uh, prayer nights. So she was also one of the people who narrated uh, hadith for Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of her words are what she said to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ana a'zamu nisa'ika alayka haqqa. Ana akramu hunna sitra wa aqrabu hunna rahima. Zawwajanika al-rahmanu min fawqi arshih. وكان جبريل عليه السلام هو السفير بذلك وأنا بنت عمتك وليس لك من نسائك قريبة غيري. So she was saying, I am uh, the uh, the highest of your wives uh, uh, amongst you. Uh, I am uh, um, related to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has uh, uh, given you the orders to marry me from above high heavens, the seven heavens. She is Zainab bint Jahsh ibn Riyab al-Asadiyyati al-Qurashiyya. That's her... Uh, uh, lineage and she is the granddaughter of Sayyidina Abdul Muttalib of Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim the grandfather of uh, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so her mom is Umayma bint Abdul Muttalib the aunt of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam her marriage uh, was the reason her marriage of, uh, from Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, of course, was the reason for so many questions. So many people of those who were uh, uh, Muslims, but they still have some of the jahili manners, also some of the hypocrites, they wanted to get uh, uh, something or, uh, uh, against Islam. They always used to shoot their arrows against Islam. They took this incident and they took advantage of it. And uh, so to say bad words about Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So who is Zainab? Zainab was the widow 
of Sayyidina Zayd ibn Haritha. And we all know the story of Sayyidina Zayd that he was uh, the son of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by adoption. So the claims were against Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he has made, uh, that he has uh, uh, made it forbidden for uh, uh, someone to marry the daughter of, uh, the wife of his daughter. So how, uh, the wife of his son, sorry. Uh, so how can the messenger of Allah marry the wife of his son, Zayd? And we know that Zayd was adopted by Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when uh, uh, after he was uh, uh, captured and sold uh, and the one who bought him was Hakim ibn Hizam and he gave him as a gift to his aunt Khuway, Khadija bint Khuwaylid radiyallahu anha. And when Khadija radiyallahu anha uh, got married to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she, she uh, told him that he, she wanted to gift him one of her slaves. So Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he saw him, he liked him immediately and he uh, asked for him. So the Zayd radiyallahu an was raised in the house of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sayyida Khadija radiyallahu anha as if they were a father and a mother to him. So when his parents, when his father and his uncle knew that he was in Mecca after a long time of their uh, 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 looking for him, what happened? They came to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his father asked him, uh, we want to, to ransom our son and we want to free him. So ask whatever money you want and we will pay. But Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to them, I will not take any money but I would give Zayd the choice. If he choose to go with you, then he is free to go with you. But if he choose to stay with me, I'm not gonna send him. And his father was so happy to hear that because he was sure that his son would choose him and would end his slavery. But of course, Zayd radiallahu anhu said to him, I would never choose anyone, anyone other than Muhammad ibn Abdullah. So his father said, Zaid, would you choose slavery for your father and your mother and your tribe? He said, yes. I saw from this man something I would never see from any other person. So at that time, Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, took the hand of Zaid and he went out to Quraysh and he said loudly, Ishhadu anna Zaydan hadha huwa bni yarithuni wa aritho. So witness, I want everyone to witness that Zayd is my son. He inherits me and I inherit him. And this type of adoption was very common in pre-Islamic era in Jahiliya until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala canceled it in the Quran. And from that, uh, so from that day, Zayd ibn Haritha radiallahu an was named Zayd ibn Muhammad. Until Islam uh, prohibited that, then he was called uh, Zayd ibn Muhammad, uh, Zayd ibn Haritha again. So Zayd was uh, serving Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he never, never uh, left him. So when uh, he was, uh, when he grew up and it was uh, the time for him to get married. So Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chose for him, his cousin, 
the daughter of Umayma bin Abdul Muttalib, Sayyida Zainab, so that she would be his wife. He would see her as a good match, but the Jahili uh, uh, ideas were still uh, in some of the uh, within some of the Arabs, within some of the Muslims. So they would, uh, they would uh, uh, not accept it. So Zainab, who was one of the most honorable lady in Quraysh, very uh, high lineage. So she said, no, I don't want him. Ya Rasulullah, so he, she said to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I, I would not accept to marry, to marry him. Because of course he is a slave and she is one of the honorable ladies of her tribe. But Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to her, Radiituhu laki. I chose him for you and I am happy. I am content that he, uh, with my choice. Her, her brother also, Abdullah, was so upset. He, he hated that his honorable, honorable, noble uh, sister would get married to Zaid. So he said, is that a match? It's a shame, I would not accept it. And Zainab said, I will never marry him. So at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah, ayah 36 of Surah Al-Ahzab when he said, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما كان لمؤمن ولا مؤمنة إذا قضى الله ورسوله أمرا أن يكون لهم أن يكون لهم الخيارة من أمرهم ومن يعص الله ورسوله فقد ضل ضلالا مبينا it's not for a believing man or a believing woman when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger have decided a matter that they should uh, have any choice about their affairs, about their affair. So Allah has cho chosen. No one is to have a choice. And whoever disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger has certainly strayed into a clear error. So when Zainab radiallahu anha heard this, she accepted. She accepted to get married to, uh, subhanallah, to someone who is a slave. So she knows that it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choice, so she is going to accept it. That's it. So Zaid got married to Zainab, and with this, Islam has proven that all Muslims are equal. No one is better than another one except for taqwa. There is no difference between a slave and a master. There is no difference between someone who is white, someone who is black. There is no difference between people. All, all people are equal. So, looking at Zaid, he was not a beautiful man. And Zainab did not like him. She did not love him. She didn't feel any, any, uh, uh, any, any, any feelings uh, the same way a husband and a wife have. And of course, she wasn't convinced with this marriage from the beginning, but she accepted it just because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had revealed that, that ayah. So their house was not the best house. It wasn't the happiest house. 
And Zayd does not like it. He does not like that his wife uh, does not want him. He felt it. So his dignity and his self-esteem would not make him accept uh, that, uh, that type of a relationship. So he didn't want to, be, to continue his life with someone who does not love him. So he went to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to, to uh, tell him and to complain to him what's going on. So he told Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right, this is what's going on. And I have an intention to, to divorce her. So Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Zaid, what happened? Did she do anything bad to you? Did, is there anything bad in her manners or something? So Zaid said, La wallahi ya Rasulullah. No. And he, he made an oath. He swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, I, I, I never saw anything except khair. But she feels so pride and uh, she, she, uh, she makes herself above me and she, she says bad words to me and I don't like it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed another, another, another ayah and he said, وَإِذْ تَقُولُ لِلَّذِي أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَأَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْسِكْ عَلَيْكَ زَوْجَةً so Allah revealed the, these, these words that, oh Muhammad, remember when you said to the one uh, uh, whom Allah bestowed favor and you bestowed favor, keep your wife. Keep your wife. So Aisha radiallahu anha said when she heard these, this, this ayah, she said, if Allah's messenger were to conceal anything of the Quran, he would have concealed this verse. So Zainab hated to live with Zaid. And Zaid would not accept that feeling from her. So he kept going to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he kept asking him to, to agree that he would divorce her. And subhanAllah, it happened. Divorce happened. So it was, life was impossible between Zayd and Zainab. So her... Uh, her Adda, uh, the days uh, she had to spend after the uh, divorce was uh, all done. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam proposed to her. And he, he sent someone to her and he said, Ya Zainab. When that person knocked on her house, he said, Ya Zainab, Ba'atha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ayakhtubuki. Oh Zainab, the messenger of Allah has sent me to propose to you. So Zainab did not say a word. She was silent. She, well, she the only thing she did was she just uh, rushed to pray. And uh, she, she was happy with what she heard. So a few days later, uh, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was talking to Aisha Radiallahu Anha and Allah revealed the, the ayah 
فلما قضى زيد منها وطرا زوجناكها لكي لا يكون على المؤمنين حرج في أزواج أدعيائهم إذا قضوا إذا قضوا منهن وطرا وكان أمر الله مفعولا So when Zayd had no longer any need for Zainab we married her to you in order that there not be upon the believers any discomfort concerning the wives of their adopted sons when they no longer have need for them. And ever is Allah's, Allah's command. The ever is the command of Allah accomplished. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فلما قضى زيد منها وطرا زوجناكها when they no longer need uh, and had uh, any need for Zainab we married her to you it was said that uh, Zainab رضي الله عنها uh, used to boost to the wives of Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and she used to say to them Your families married you to him while Allah married me to him from above the seven heavens. And of course, she meant that her marriage to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was revealed to him by uh, Angel Jibreel alayhi wa sallam. So... This was how Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got married to his cousin Zainab and uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it clear for people that if uh, Allah, when he said, ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad is not a father of any of your women but he is the messenger of Allah and he is the, the seal of the prophets and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most knowing so with this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had asked people just to uh, call the, the adopted ones by the names of their fathers. And since that day, nobody would say Zayd ibn Muhammad, Zayd the son of Muhammad, but they would say Zayd ibn Haritha. So, uh, of course, now, Uh, Sayyidah Zainab uh, was one of the pearls, one of the wives of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She was beautiful. She was young. She was uh, a, a noble woman. And of course, There was some jealousy among the wives of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Aisha radiallahu anha would say, لم تكن واحدة من نساء النبي تناصيني غير زينب. None of the wives of uh, uh, the Prophet was equal to me except for Zainab. So, There was something that uh, was remarkable for Zainab radiallahu anha was that she used to work with her hands. She used to, uh, she knew how to do some hand, hand work and she used to do some uh, uh, bead stuff and uh, she used to sell what she would make by herself. And she would give the money to the poor, to the widows, 
and to the needies. She would give her give them the uh, everything that she would get. She would spend for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So she was uh, someone who is very, very charitable, very generous. And she, radiallahu anha, uh, was the was uh, uh, someone who prayed a lot, and she had a humble heart, and she was always attached to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. She was always in a very good relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She had a very strong bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved these qualities in her. And once he said to Sayyidina Umar, Inna Zainab bintu jahshin awwaha. Qila ya Rasulullah, mal awwaha? So he said to Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, said to Sayyidina Umar, Zainab bint Jahsh is uh, someone who returns always to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in prayers. So when Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, was asked, what is al-awwaha? He said, al-khashi'a al-mutadarri'a. And he he uh, immediately followed it by, by the uh, ayah, Inna Ibrahim lahalimun awahun munib. He immediately talked about Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, and he said, indeed, Ibrahim was forbearing, was grieving, and frequently returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, Zainab radiallahu anha, the mother of the believers, uh, did was narrating a hadith for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one of the one of the hadith that she narrated, she said, "Qalat Zain, Zainab, thumma dakhaltu ala um, thumma dakhaltu ala Zainab bint Jahsh zawj ibn Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, حين توفي أخوها." So another Zainab said, "I I I came to Zainab bint Jahsh, the mother of the believer, when her." Uh, brother died. فدعت بطيب فمست منه. So she called for perfume and she put some on her. ثم قالت. Then she said, والله ما لي بالطيب حاجة غير أني سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول. I swear by Allah, I have no need for perfume. But I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, لا يحل لمرأة تؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر تحد على ميت فوق ثلاث ليال إلا على زوج أربعة أشهر وعشرة. It is not halal. For a woman to, who trusts in Allah and the last day to abstain from adornment in mourning for someone who has died for more than three nights. So that's the, uh, uh, the how many days that someone could mourn someone else, except for a woman who lost her husband, she would mourn for four months and 10 days. So she would abstain from adornment for during this time, four months and 10 days. So this was of the one of the narrations that she said, uh, she narrated 
uh, about Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha, uh, even though uh, there was jealousy amongst the wives of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they always used to give uh, each other their rights. If there is something good in one of them, the other one would say it. Uh, so one, one of the things that uh, Umm Salama radiallahu anha, the mother of the believers, said about Zainab radiallahu anha, كانت صالحة قوامة صوامة صناعة. She was a pious, a pious woman. She used to uh, pray at night. She used to fast during the day. She used to do her, she, she, to make things with her own hands. And she would give all the money she would get out of her work, she would give it to the poor. So, so, uh, um, saying the, the, the truth about Zainab radiallahu anha. So when uh, Aisha radiallahu anha learned about the death of Zainab radiallahu anha, she said, لَقَدْ ذَهَبَتْ حَمِيدَةً مُتَعَبِّدَةً مَفْزَعَ الْيَتَامَ وَالْأَرَامِلِ She passed away. She was a pious. She was a worshiper. She was someone who the, uh, uh, the needy and, and the orphans and the widows would go to when they needed her. And Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, used to say to his wives, أَسْرَعُوا كُنَّ لِحَاقًا بِي so uh, when uh, the one who has the longest hand amongst you would meet me most immediately. So she would die first after me. And uh, the, the wives of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, used to measure their hands just to know who was the longest. But when Zainab radiallahu anha passed away, they realized that it wasn't the, long, the longest in length of the, of, the, of, the, of the hand, but the longest among them in spending and in giving charity. So... Zainab radiallahu anha, uh, at her death, uh, deathbed, she said, I prepared my shroud. And I know that Umar, the uh, uh, Amir al Mu'mineen, is going to send me one. So just give one in for charity. And if you can, give in charity everything I, I have or everything, uh, um, anything I, I would be lawful to just give it, give, give everything in charity. So this was Zainab radiallahu anha. And when she passed away, it was Sayyidina Umar who was leading Salatul Janazah, the funeral of Zainab radiallahu anha. And she died in the, in the year 20th of Hijrah, and she was 50, 53 years old. 
So Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu anha, uh, Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu an led her prayer and she was the first uh, woman to be put in a casket when she was the first Muslim woman, she wanted to be put in a casket when she was uh, carried to Jannatul Baqiyah to the graveyard. And when Sayyidina Omar saw that, uh, saw uh, the body in the casket, he said, Oh, ma ahsana hada, ma astara hada. How, how, how good this is. This, this would, uh, would be very good, very uh, veiling for the for the body. So this was uh, Ummul Mu'minin, Sayyida Zainab bin Tujahsh, one of the uh, one of the uh, wives of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, one of those who uh, one of the unique pearls in Islam, one of the uh, characters whom we have to follow and whom we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to unite us with under the banner of his Habib, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And uh, until inshallah we meet next week, I uh, leave you by sending my salam and your salam, special salam to the best of the creatures, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.